Okay, we've pretty well got the head blocked out here. So now what we're going to do today is, well we finished the lower parts, now what we're going to do today is work on the eye area up here. Now, I recently had a question about, you know, carving heads. And one of the things that I always point out to people is make sure you look at human anatomy, okay? Because that, that'll help you. And that's what we're going to do today. So, we're looking for an expression. And expressions come not from the eyes, but from the eyebrows. Getting instructions from my partner here. She's not in a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if you look at these heads, if you covered up the eyebrow, here, let me get to it. If you covered up the eyebrow, that stern expression pretty much disappears. Let's find another one here. There. See what I mean? Not much. I mean, he's not a. He's not upset. He's not mean. Uh oh, something happened there. So remember that the expression comes from the eyebrows, but also, and I guess this is the eyebrows too. See these lines right here? Right there. Right there. Right there. They're right there. Can't see them so much there, but they're there. There, there, he's kind of bland. And there, and there. His mouth sort of takes away the stern look. But anyway, if we, if we make a couple little cuts right there, and right there, see how that changes the expression just a little? But if we change the shape of the eyebrow just a bit, say we come down here and move that up like that, well, that really changes. So let's just goof around here. Not goof around. You don't want to goof around when you're doing doing carvings. And we will just cut these eyebrows down just a little. I take me a little bitty gouge here, see if I can find it. There it is. Just kind of curve it up there. There, now we're starting to get an expression. Now if we keep going with that direction and we take this down here. Now it's really starting to show up. Okay? So that's the direction we're going here. Now, on the eyes. If you will look at the eyes, you will see, I already penciled this in here, there's a skull socket. And the shape of the eye almost conforms to that to that socket here. It really shows up on this guy here. See here, look here. Well, that's how we begin the eye. Is we draw in Same size. Oh, I'm sorry we jerk around here. My wife says it's my fault. I don't see how it could possibly be my fault. There, we've created our two sockets. 
Now, we've got the upper eyelid done, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. See how I did that? I dug deep here, come up, and I'm just going to blend it out there. And then we're going to come in here, take that chip out. People are always saying that eyes are hard to do, but they're not that hard to do if you just follow the directions of anatomy. I'm only going to do one here because someone has a gets to go to lunch today without me, so. Just round this all off. Okay, so now we have the eye, eye pretty well done. I can dig in here a little bit more. Okay, now, now that we've got that done, the only thing that we have to do now is add the upper and the lower eyelids. So, it's just a matter of and this takes a while. I don't like that. Hopefully you can hit it. Mm, that's pretty good that too. There, see? We've got our upper eyelid and our lower eyelid indicated. Okay, now I'm going to take my knife right here, just kind of poke it in there and follow that line. And then I'm going to take that chip out. Just like that. And I kind of carved away my lower one, so we'll draw that one back in here. So what I did was on the upper one I went like kind of put it out like that. On the lower one what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that up underneath that upper one. See right there. See that right there? That's where that lower eyelid is going underneath that upper one. Right there, it's going underneath that upper one. Right here, it's going underneath that upper one. A lot of people, when they do an eye, they'll do it like this. That's not how an eye looks. It looks, it's kind of like an almond shape. Like that. 
Again, it's just human anatomy. Now I'm going to take this lower lid and I'm going to put it underneath that upper one. come back and take a little scoop out here. Just to give that eye just a little bit more graceful shape and looking like a ball. So that looks pretty good. Okay, another thing I like to do when I reach about this step here is I like to cut in a few hairlines because it helps visualize what's coming down the line. See, it's coming, it's coming along pretty good. You can just see more and more of the details start taking shape. Okay? Now, we've reached a point, or rather I've reached a point, to where I like to start looking to see how this is going to look once it's finished. So, to do that, I brought along a little card. I did this one quite a few years ago. This is almost the same size as this one here that we're doing. It's just a little larger, not a lot, but just a little larger. And this is how we're going to do this one. We're going to put a shield on him. We're going to have a bust. I'm not sure about the decoration in here yet, but it's going to be something nice. And side view here shows you the, the shape of uh, the, the, the side. It might be a little different. Go right around in here. Is it a time? Ooh, I got ten minutes. So uh, another thing, when I well, hang on here. Let me show you. Get my some patterns down here. All right, I have a couple patterns here. that one there. And I think this will be the shield, which will go about right there. And then the, the head, which will go there. So you see it's going to be a pretty substantive carving, so once we start adding all the stuff on it, feathers and things like that, And once I get once I get this piece cut out, I will whittle on it just a bit and then go ahead and make my base because that's going to give me 
the overall picture of what this thing will probably end up looking like, at least the shape of it, once it gets all carved. Okay, got that figured out. Anyway, if you go to outwestwoodcarving.blogspot.com Do you want to write that down? You'll go to my blog where I post pictures of carvings I'm working on that I finished, that uh, the videos, everything is here, okay? And that's where we are right now. And here, this is what we're working on right now. This is part two, which I uploaded just the other day, and now we're going to work on part three, which I'll upload here in a little while. Okay. Now, if you go over here on the right side, you will see links to Out West videos. That's all those videos, and there's 300 and some on there now. It'll take you there. Okay. Down beneath that is my website where I uh, sell my carvings. And there's a lot of carvings right there that are for sale. Okay? Let's go back. Oh, I didn't tell you. Out West videos. Now this will be changing here in the future. But uh, right at the moment I store my videos on the Vimeo site. So here's all the videos, and like I say, there's a hell of a lot of them on there. Goes way on back to carving boots and cowboys, real simple projects in the beginning. Okay, so let's go back. Now what happened? Next is the photo gallery. Okay, this is, well I'm logged on to this I'm logged onto this site, so this is going to have a lot of photographs on there of uh, personal stuff. So anyway, on this site are pictures of uh, carvings that I've done. And also, you'll find patterns. And you will find photo projects that uh, I did in the past before we started making videos, but show the progression of me carving the piece as we went along. But then once we started making videos, we didn't do that anymore. Anyway, there's tons of information on here, especially on the blog. See here, I, what I generally, look here, there's one right there. What I generally do, here's, is uh, I'll show the piece once it's finished carving. Like here he is all in the rough state. Everything's done. I generally show different views. And there it is, painted and ready to go out the gallery door to some collector, which is what happened to this one here. Okay? So if you're looking for a pattern, you'll find it in that section there, blog photo gallery. Now, if you scroll down farther, that tells you that if you see a carving on here that I haven't done a video on, or I haven't, uh, well, if I haven't showed you how to do that particular carving, that's fine. You can carve a carving similar to that one if you want to. If you see a carving on here where that information is not given, please don't carve that carving because that's my work my copyrighted work, and I don't like that to be reproduced. There's all the wonderful people who attend my blog from all over the world. And here's the blog archive. I've been doing this since 19, or 2006, 19, not that old. But uh, as you can see, there's a hell of a lot of stuff on there. Now if you go on farther down into labels, here's all these words, keywords, associated with the various uh, various carvings carving eyes you want to say oh how do we do how how do i carve eyes well right there the carving eyes you just touch that and what that's going to do is that's going to take you to posts videos that show you how to carve eyes on all different kinds 
of videos. Let's go back. Say you want to carve a pair of cowboy boots. That's a real simple little, oops, bunkhouse. Oops, <laughs> around the bunkhouse. There's a little carving I did of a guy waking up in the morning. So you wanted to do a simple project. You're just learning how to carve and you want to do, do some cowboy boots. Let's see if we can find boots. There's a bottle stopper. It's probably under cowboy boots. Let's look here. Right there. Cowboy. Well, lots of cowboys. You see these bigger, bigger letters? That means that there's lots of stuff in there. Smaller ones, not so much. Cowboy, doctor, cowboy boots. Seven posts on cowboy boots. Carving a pair of cowboy boots. Now, again, this was back when we were, uh, hadn't bought our video camera yet. So, this will be associated with the pictures in the gallery. But I'll give you, uh, I give an explanation along here. Of exactly what I'm doing. That was a. This one was an eight-part, eight-part uh, thing. Okay, go back. But there's just so much stuff. Here's Native Americans. There's tons of stuff on Native Americans. Videos. Now it says 153, but believe me, there's more than 153 videos. That's probably 153 different video projects, and each project has a bunch of videos associated with it that aren't counted in that number, okay? So, this blog will help you out quite a bit, I think. Someone's tapping me on the shoulder. It must be time for lunch. So I'll close this out here, and... Uh, I will go ahead and carve the other eye, and then the next time we will uh, continue working on this face and just see, see, see what we'll do next, okay? So until then, I'll talk to you later and let my wife go to lunch.